Hey everybody, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Andrew and this is Reissued. If you're not new here, you know that I'm in the middle of a home renovation. More specifically, I am in the middle of my half bath renovation among other rooms, but that's the one that we're kind of following here. So I put out part one of that makeover a couple weeks ago. We're still working on some things. There's a couple projects left and those will come out in part two, but I'm wanting some custom art to go in that space over on the wall, kind of by where the window is. The left side of the room where we put up the faux leather feels very dark and moody, and the other side feels very white right now. So I'm wanting to sort of balance out the room a little bit by bringing something a little bit darker to the other side. So I picked up a couple of these frames at Goodwill. They are black painted white wood with a little gold along the inside and I'm going to be doing some drawings of tarot cards to go on the inside because I think that would be kind of cool and moody for the space. I'll explain everything as I go uh, so let's jump on in. While I'm neither an expert nor a hardcore believer in the world of tarot, I think the visuals, the characters, and the lore of the tarot world is fascinating and just beautiful. After a couple of amateur DIY readings, I have this special place in my heart for the sun card and the justice card. You may remember that I used images of these cards for the graffiti wall in my old apartment bathroom in the very early days of my channel. So it felt appropriate to revisit these cards again for my new bathroom. With my original plan in mind, I started out with some Googling and sketching for like five minutes before I came across these super unique floral cards by Floriography Tarot on Etsy and had a different idea. All right, so we're like 10 minutes in and I have already completely changed my idea of what I want to do for this. Initially, I was going to draw something and I was going to transfer it onto the black paper and then outline it with some um, like liquid gold leaf kind of situations to do a really simple kind of like black and gold print feel. Um, however, I started sketching and I just really don't like sketching people at this point, but I think that the whole human aspect of the cards is one of the most interesting things. You know, I could avoid that entirely, but it just seems like that's kind of the most interesting part. So, um, I did what I do a lot in other projects. I pulled out my old W magazines and started cutting away, um, and right away I found this awesome picture of Carly Kloss and she was in the body position that I needed and I'm just like, maybe we do more of a collage kind of vibe. So I'm going in that direction, we'll see how it goes. So these are the images that I decided on. Um, again, this one we have Carly Kloss. Uh, we're gonna make this into her sword and we're gonna turn the bag into her scales. Um, and then here I have Laura Stone and her hair looks like the sun to me. And then I have this chick who's gonna be the baby on the horse. We're gonna draw in the horse with um, the fabric and the sunflowers and all the other stuff. Um, but I think this is kind of a good baseline to start from. In case you guys couldn't tell, I love a 2010 supermodel moment, so yeah. After finding my main characters for each image, I grabbed some parchment paper out of my drawer since I wanted something transparent enough for me to see the magazine images through while I added some new elements. I've grown very accustomed to laying out my designs digitally before bringing them to life, since you can always adjust proportions and move things if necessary. So here, even though nothing wanted to stick to the parchment paper and this was really not the right thing for the job, I was able to rough in some ideas and get a sense of how the more important elements of the traditional cards would work with the magazine clippings. When I was planning for this project, I looked at a lot of different tarot interpretations. Some artists take a much more minimal approach and feature only the core character or each card's big picture concept. But in my limited experience with DIY tarot reading, the more layered designs of the more classic cards hold a lot of symbolism and can give you more to go off of when interpreting the cards. So I opted to keep all of the elements on the cards that I chose. The prominent sun face behind a naked baby on a horse with a flowing banner in front of sunflowers for the sun card and a powerful woman holding scales to indicate balance and a sword to indicate upholding that balance. So this is where we are now. Carly's easy, just adding those props to her is gonna give her the full look, we love it. Um, I think it's gonna be better if we go ahead and separate the head here, make her really a floating head sun, um, which will give us some background to draw in the horse on. Because right now the horse is kind of disappearing and um, even if I do gold over this orange coat and the hand and all of that, I think it's gonna kind of still disappear. So putting on the black background, I think it's gonna pop it a little bit more. Okay, so I'm at a good stopping point here. I have marker all over my hands. These look a little crazy right now, um, but the next step is to go in and really refine and define and add any other elements that I'm gonna draw in. Um, and really perfect that. And so that way I can finalize the composition and sort of put everything together and then um, get the gold on there. It's gonna be cool. 
I felt comfortable enough with the layout to this point that I went ahead and glued the magazine pieces down with a basic glue stick. I trimmed away any overlap along the edges as well. Armed with some actual tracing paper this time, now we have the right tool, I went in with the pencil and started to more permanently add both the accessories for the characters and the environments surrounding the characters. I was able to use some of my parchment paper pieces to help me get a general size and shape for some of the key elements. At this point, I was very much referencing these very classic tarot cards, since I felt that the line work would translate really well with the gold ink, and the classic design would feel recognizable and juxtapose the more contemporary look of the magazine images. The character poses and proportions of the card designs were a bit different to my collages, so I made some key choices along the way to try to incorporate the element seamlessly and achieve a sense of balance in the design. I also tested the tracing paper mock-ups in the frames to be sure that the key parts of the design wouldn't get cut off along the edges. This was important to think about especially for the card titles at the bottom of each piece. I did some careful measuring to ensure that the lettering would sit comfortably within the frame. All right, so now that my preliminary sketches are done, I'm gonna go in with the white pencil and see if I can kind of replicate my designs onto the actual piece of paper itself, which is a little scary. And then we're gonna go in with the gold over that to cover that up. That'll just kind of give a guideline so that I'm not going in blind. When I was planning this project, I was trying to think of a way to transfer my sketches to the final paper. I didn't come up with anything that felt simple enough, and a complex process wasn't really worth the time. Better to just re-sketch in white and match my other sketches best I could. I left out a lot of little details on the sections that were not crucial to the look or composition. I can freehand those in with the paint. For all of the architectural line work, I used my ruler a lot, the same way I did on my transparent sketch. That didn't mean I didn't still mess up things along the way. Luckily, my white pencil was able to mostly erase. Time to paint! I picked up this liquid gold leaf and a new pack of artist's brushes specifically for this project. I've always prided myself on using any old crappy cheap brush, but I have to say that this brush pack that I picked up has already been a game changer on so many of my recent projects. Why didn't I do this sooner? On a compositional note, metallics are so perfect for line work and pieces like this since it can stand out on both light and dark backgrounds. It's like magic, I love it. I opted to use the liquid leaf paint because I wanted that true real deal gold look. This project was initially inspired by this piece of art that I saw in an upscale antique and design store in North Atlanta. The pure gold sprayed across the inky black just felt so expensive and luxe. It might have been easier to do all this outlining with a gold pen or paint pen, but the brush application really suits the line work of the tarot design, and the whole experience of dipping my brush for each line felt very old world and kind of mystical. In general, I laid the paint down from top left corner, working across to the bottom right corner. This paint actually dries very quickly, but better to not smudge my hand in it along the way. Between pieces, I rinsed out my brush with mineral spirits to get a clean start. This paint is oil-based, so water wouldn't do the trick. <laughs> 
Carly's crown got nixed when I realized I forgot to place the Roman numeral at the top of my preliminary sketch. That felt like an important part of the card that I didn't want to miss, and I kind of think that having it atop her head makes it feel like an abstract version of the crown. What do you think? I found that outlining the magazine characters served to help integrate them into the surroundings and blend the edge where the magazine clipping met the background paper. Something about it also feels kind of like old religious art with the gold outlining. Alright, so I just wrapped up putting the gold on the drawings and I'm going to let those dry for a bit and put them in their frames and then show you how they turned out. Final thoughts here before I do that. Number one, on a practical level, if you're working with the glue stick, yes it dries clear. Yes, it also dries shiny. So there's a couple places where I got a little bit of glue stick on the black paper and from certain angles it shows up, which is not my favorite thing, not the end of the world, but also like, ugh. And then on a broader note, you may remember when we started this project that I was planning to do just gold ink on black paper and then things sort of went off course. Um, that happens to me a lot. And I think that's an important thing to remember. As much as conceptualizing and planning and sort of diligence are important, I think it's also important to sort of listen to that little thing inside of yourself, like paying attention to the materials in front of you and seeing what's possible with those and then leaning into that place that feels excited. Like when I got the magazines out and I saw those images, I was just like, there was a little spark, right? As I get into a place in my life when I'm creating more and more, there's definitely a certain habit to it in a certain skill where you just kind of have to do it and it's not always fun but like some things just have to be done but then there are certain moments where this flow starts to happen and you just get excited all over again about the project and so lean into that go off course try a new direction if it doesn't work out you can always go back but it can be really amazing to indulge and enjoy that creativity as it comes to you and i think the product is way more amazing than i could have imagined at the beginning so it worked out this time. If you like this video, like this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button. I'm a little all over the place these days. I'm working on my home renovation. Sometimes I sew, sometimes I paint, sometimes I draw. Right now I'm focusing on just whatever's coming to me, pouring that out and making a video on it. So hopefully that's what you guys want to see. If there's anything specific that you want to see from me, you can always drop that in the comments down below. Let me know what kind of content you want to see. I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.